Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw, Editorial Director at TigerFitness.com and Muscle and Brawn Nutrition CEO. Headed back from Little Rock, Arkansas to Ohio and wanted to do a video about 10 by 3 training. I was asked a question in the comments section what I thought about 10 by 3 training. Um, 10 by 3 training, for those of you don't, that don't know, is 10 sets of 3 reps. It's kind of a flip-flop of conventional bodybuilding style of training where you do three sets of eight to 12 reps. And it was popularized on T Nation uh, maybe six, seven years ago. Uh, I forget the author's name. He was a bigger named author. He's done a lot of workouts at T Nation. Excuse me for getting his name, but it's not important. It's just a set and rep scheme. So somebody asked me if the 10 by what I thought of the 10 by 3 set and rep scheme. Well, here's the thing. Is it a viable form of training? Yes, it is. Will it yield results? Yes, it is. It's good for strength, and it's good for hypertrophy, in my opinion, if you keep a tight rest between sets. I don't like to do 10 sets and stretch out the rest between sets. I believe if you keep it to 45 to 60 seconds between sets, it's a little bit better for hypertrophy in my mind. Um, you get a little bit of cumulative fatigue, etc. Are there downsides to this style of training? Absolutely. Now, generally, I typically advocate about 16 to upwards of 22 sets max per training session, depending on your style of training. But once you get in about 10 sets of three reps, it becomes a little bit tedious um, after that point to try to fit in any quality amount of assistance work. So that's one of the downsides, I feel, or one of the, uh, the negatives or cons of this style of training. Um, another con is that, quite frankly, it gets quite boring. I've tried the Hepburn method. I've tried 10 by threes. I've tried methods similar to this over the years, and they really get quite boring. There are some of you that can handle them better than others, and I'm not throwing out a blanket statement that no one should ever try them, but generally, I think most guys just find them boring. So, if you're going to try this type of training, just know that yes, it is effective, um, that it can be a little bit tedious and boring, um, that you have to have a you have to have a defined method of progression, know how you're going to progress going in, and know that even though you're doing the same number of reps as like a 3 by 10 because you're doing 30 total reps, you can fit in fewer assistance exercises. So therefore, if you ask me, uh, a program like 10 by 3 just isn't as quality just isn't as quality for that reason because I want to be able to get in my assistance exercises I want a little bit of variation my goal is to build as much strength and muscle from head to toe as possible and that requires a little bit more assistance time a little bit more effort placed upon assistance exercises or backup exercises than doing a 10 by 3 allows so with that said if you can squeeze in your 10 by 3 and get it, keep a tight rest between sets, like 45 to 60 seconds, then you can probably squeeze in more than, uh, more than enough assistance work in that given training day. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them below. If you've made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.